Hi, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Interceptor in a, a Spring application. Um, for that, I have already set up some code right here. I, I, I'll walk you through that. And first of all, I've added a controller, which is another controller, Spring controller. And I have a method, the mapping method, um, which brings up the home page. And I have a, um, a system order print alarm, like just to show it. it to, to log to the console and it, it brings up the home page and the next is the interceptor the interceptor is one which come in between the request and the controller so so like like your, your server filter it goes and filter out the request what all parameters are there in the request and can be verified in the lifecycle methods so we want to write a spring interceptor you need to implement the handle interceptor, which is um, uh, which is from the Spring back, um, Framework package. And so um, it has a lifecycle methods to be implemented. The class where you implement this and uh, um, the, the, these three methods, which re required to be there, um, the pre-handle before you go and hit your action method in the controller, it's going to come here and do a uh, verification whatever the logic you want right here to verify in your request you have any uh, in, in parameters which you're expecting which is not there and the all or, or security stuff can be done here and once this let it go and go and go and hit the method right here and once your service is done it comes back it goes to the pre handle post handle once the pre handle done then the post handle and then the after completion those are these life cycle method will get executed um, and you, you you can clean up whatever objects or whatever you want to do the final wrap up can be done in the after completion and before that you need one more configuration to get the setup done to go and make some changes in the uh, servlet context so the servlet context you need to say the interceptor to be like this to give the right package and the right class name and so the interceptor will look into that and get that ready for you. Um, yes, that's one thing you need to do here. But pretty much other things are Spring application. So this is the main the scan package uh, where you're going to start the scan, and it's all the JSP mapping to uh, render the page. So let's. So that's that's how the framework should be to initial setup to just a very hello world application. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it on the server. Let me do a compilation because I made some changes here. Okay, you can install it once again. So once we hit the application you'll be able to see our logs. The, the, the first log should be coming from here, then the second one should be coming from here, and that's the controller, and then the two methods down here is one post handle and after completion. So um, let me run that for you. Okay. Let's watch the log. I'll tailed out a few. taking a couple of seconds to get the servlet up and running for you for the spring configuration. I think it's all there now. Okay. We see our hello world page here and see see just just look at the console and see this pre handle being printed once, then in controller and in post handle and after completion. So that's the life cycle. So it goes to pre-handle, then after because we let it go because we don't have any logic right here. I'm not doing any check, so it just print handle and returns to what and it returns to it goes to that that means you're passing the request like it's a good it's a good request. So you go here, render the page, and you know, before rendering the page, it comes through this. And if you have anything to be set back uh, on the response or whatever, 
can do that here and later on the competition just clean those, those things which you don't need to use anymore so that's pretty much it and if you have uh, any questions let me know I can help you All right thank you thanks for watching this video hope you have something when you complete this thanks bye bye